welcome to cast tutorials and welcome to the second video of the python for beginners series now as you can see i have my browser open and we're about to start so before you code we have to set a few things up you have to have python installed and you have to have an app or software where you can edit or where you can write your software so now my chosen software is vs code and i'll just walk you through how to install python as well as vs code so you'd write something like uh on your browser python download something like that that'll pop this up which is the python website once this is open you can go ahead and download the latest version of python but if your course or if anyone else specifies that you have to get a specific version then you just have to come to this downloads page and then look for the version which is actually wanted right so just go here all releases and you find other versions so the latest version as of today is 3.10 and i just downloaded it over here and just go ahead and click that once you click this download over there or just go to wherever you basically had your download installed so as you saw there was like a pop-up box and you can choose where you want to have this save i just have it saved in downloads once you open the download, then you'd see that you have this page. So it's install Python 3.10. And I advise that you just set this on. This will make things easy for you. Don't worry too much about this, but you can go ahead and research about the path and what it exactly does. But in simple terms, it basically allows you to access the, the Python keyword or it allows you to use Python from every part of your computer. So now you can just go on to install now and it will start the installation and everything and everything just basically follow on from here. Now I already have Python installed, so I'm just going to actually cancel this before it goes any further. And I'll just continue from, from the next step. So now let's say that, as you can see, I canceled because I already have Python installed and I don't want the new version, but um, I should get it later, but not now. So now after installing Python, then you basically have it installed on your computer. And to confirm that you, you've actually installed Python successfully, what you're going to do is you're going to open the command prompt. And the command prompt is just this window. How you open it is you'd go to the search bar over here and you type in CMD or type in command prompt and press that thing over there and it should open this window once it opens this window over there then you can just basically say python then dash dash version then it should tell you the version of python that you've installed so if you installed this one it should say python 3.10.0 so i currently have python 3.9.6 that is how you check if python is installed successfully right so now you can exit this and we are done with the installation of python now the next step is to install vs code so let's type vs code on our browser and it should pop this up you have code.visualstudio.com which is this over here and you're just going to go ahead and go into there once you're in here, you should see that this is the Visual Studio Code website and it has a bunch of information about what it is, what you can do, all of its capabilities. It's quite powerful and it's lightweight. It, it doesn't really tax your computer much, but it has a lot of capabilities. So this is where we're going to write our code. As you can see, it's quite beautiful and we'll see it for ourselves after downloading it. So now you basically press this button to go onto your download and it will just pop up in this box to ask you where you want to install you can have it installed in downloads or wherever you want to install it already have it installed and once you have it installed then you can just go ahead and open the file that you downloaded right and this will be um the next step that that we are dealing with So you're going to open that file that you now downloaded, which is which should be called something like uh, VS Code User Setup. And if you open it, then just like when we were installing 
Python and has a bunch of options for you. Just go ahead, accept the agreement and press next. Then if you want to have this on a desktop, you can just check that. So then it creates a desktop icon. Then you're going to say next and press the install button. Everything after this point should be quite clear and you should just follow along. So now let's just do a quick fast forward and say now that we've installed Python as well as VS Code, then we now want to use our VS Code to start writing some code. That's what we want to do at this point. I'm just going to go ahead and close this browser window and open VS Code. Now, when you open VS Code, this is what you should get. It should have this welcome screen with a bunch of other things if it's your first time opening it. And now we are finally here, almost ready to code. And we can just go ahead and do this first of all. So on your desktop or wherever, you can just create a new file, say new folder, and let's call it Python, or you can call it whatever you want. It's basically up to you. You can see what you want to call it. I just basically called it Python, right? And this is my uh, Python file over here. And I'm going to go back to VS Code. And in here, I'm going to say file, then say open folder. And I basically want to open that folder that we created. So we, 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 we created a folder on the desktop and its name was Python. So there it is. You can just select that folder and it's going to open the folder. Now, if you look at this folder, it doesn't really have anything in it and it just still has that welcome page as well as a bunch of things over there. So if you look at that, it has the name of the folder and this is where things get quite interesting. Okay, so you're going to press Control Shift P. Right? Once you have that, it will lead you to this point. So Control Shift P. Once you come to this point, then here's what you're going to do. You're going to start typing select interpreter, right? Which is the first option over there. So it's going to say Python, select interpreter. So what this means is that we want to link our Python download to this app because the reason why we installed Python is so that our computer can be able to read Python code. So after writing your code, it's going to pass through your Python installation or a bunch of hidden things which are behind the scenes and your Python code is going to be translated to whatever you want to do. Right? So now you have to select that we want to use that Python that we um, installed. And that is, this is where that will happen. And you just basically select that. So your Python, whichever version that you installed, should just pop up and you'd select it and you're almost done. Now, the next step is you'd come down here to this over here that says extensions. And at this moment, you now want to install an extension for VS Code, and this will make a lot of things easy for you. So start typing after clicking extensions, go to Python and start typing, go to this box and start typing Python Then go for the first one that says Python IntelliSense. And what this will do for you is it will basically uh, finish your lines of code before you're done. So it will suggest things which you want to do. So as you write your Python code, it will finish it for you and it will make a lot of other things much easier for you. So already have this installed. You just press the install button. It will be called installed on your part and it will basically install behind the scenes. After installing, you go back to this part up here at the top and you can now add files and start. So you can close this over there. Press this button here that says add so if you come to this button over here, that says new file. So you're going to press that button, new file, and call your new file. Let's call our file hello world, because that's exactly what we're going to do in this. And dot py. That dot py basically specifies that you're dealing with a Python file. So if you look at your Microsoft Word documents, some of them or most of them, if not all of them, are dot docx. If you look at your spreadsheets or some other things, they have an extension. So this is basically called an extension to specify the type of file that you're dealing with. So Python files are given this extension.py. Just press enter. 
And if you press enter, we are now in here where we can write our beautiful code. So that is not code, obviously, but I'm just showing you. This is where you put in your code. And here goes our first ever Python code. So here's what we're going to do. So follow along, just write print. And as you see, as I said, it suggests what you might want to write. So it already has print for us. You just press tab. And when you press tab on your PC, just finish it. And when you press tab on your PC, it'll finish the sentence or the line for you. You're going to say open bracket. Then you have to have your quotation marks. In here, we're going to write hello world. And that is our code. So this is your very first line of code. If you've never coded before, your very, very first line of code. And what we're going to do next is we're going to now come back to our page, then come up here to the top right. So on our top right, there's this button over here. If you look at this button, it says run Python file. And we're just going to go ahead and run this Python file. So press the button, it looks like a play button. And a terminal at the bottom should just pop up. So the terminal is a place where we can see the output of our Python file. So what, what our Python Python files basically produce, or the result of your code will be displayed down here in your terminal. And every time you press that play button or that run Python file button, this is where you expect to see your output. So the only way to know that code works is if you see what it produces. And this is where we're going to see that. So now let's just wait for it to load. It's taking quite some time. And if you look at that, it says, hello world. What did we tell it? We said it should print hello world. And that's exactly what it did down here. So this is how you download Python. This is how you download VS Code and set it up so that you can code in Python. So you're now ready to learn Python. You can take this as a first lesson if you want. And I was just showing you how to install Python, how to do, how to install VS Code as well, and how to run your Python files. And if you're wondering, or if your course specifically wants you to use Jupyter Notebooks and stuff like that, so Jupyter Notebooks, this program also supports Jupyter Notebooks. So you can open Jupyter Notebooks, you can create Jupyter Notebooks using VS Code as well. And that is why it's quite cool. It has a lot of capabilities. And I think I'll make another separate video for Jupyter Notebooks, how to deal with them, how to make Jupyter Notebooks, and how to work with Jupyter Notebooks and VS Code. So just stay tuned for that, or just scroll down in the series and see if I do have a video for that. Until next time, then I guess I'll see you in the next video. If you like this video, just give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next video.